Six Sigma in general has five things that we think, think about. It's a measurement system, it's, um, and there's a metric involved. That's why we call it Six Sigma. We're looking for a process that is uh, going to not have variation that is within Six Sigma standard deviations of that given um, customer requirement. Okay, so it's a measurement system. It's a management philosophy, meaning that we start and end our discussions in our organization with thinking about how we're performing as a company and how we are measuring uh, our performance. And again, it's important to look at measurements over time. In many cases, I'm sure you've done projects in your past that may have focused on uh, we're looking at how we're performing today and then we do a project and see how we performed at the end. But we fail to see what the variation over time has been so we don't understand that the first point in time we looked at was only that, a point in time, and that we maybe were getting better all along without any project, all right? So you have to look at how have I performed consistently over a longer period of time in order to measure success. The project may have not actually improved anything. That's why it's important to understand what your baseline metrics are and then um, how stable they are before launching a project. In another aspect of Six Sigma is looking at what is your deployment strategy. Um, it's important that the management is serious about using Six Sigma as a methodology. It can't be a ground up approach because it will not be successful without top down and bottom up. Everyone using the same um, components for discussion and using the methodology to drive the process improvements that you're looking for. So it is top down? It's it top to down. It, it needs to be embraced by the upper management within the organization and if the upper management is in agreement with using the philosophy, it's much easier to drive the change than at the lowest levels of the organization. So it's a measurement system, a management philosophy, a deployment strategy. And a quality improvement, ongoing quality improvement methodology. So we're focused on driving improvement in some way by using a, a standard approach to solving problems, whatever those problems might be. And that, of course, as you know, drives profitability because what you're after is to provide a product that is geared toward your customer base in the most efficient and effective manner possible. And as you also um, know, there are many companies that fail to focus on the quality benefits of their products.